about boys and girls two set two of the day there is three sets in total we're going to be tuning in with eager versus denial both those two teams honestly on the up i want to say overall with the recent results denial obviously being envy and then you've also got eager who i believe are on a six game winning streak they're on a six game win, win streak they started off two and four they've taken big games off of uh not only soar uh but enemy as well so this is a squad that has been very dangerous the last couple of weeks and honestly a lot of it i think coming from zatman i I think right now Zatman is the best hunter in North America. Has it just and, been? Has it just been Zatman though? That's the question. No, I mean, that's really that's the, the whole point. team. It, it's really been the whole team, but I think Zatman was the most consistent from the start, and since then, best has been very competitive. DJ Pernicus and Aurora really combining to set him up, and then Divios as well. You can always count on him to be a monster in team fights. Well, it's always been about the picks and bans for Eager of how they've, well they've done. So let's go straight into them now and see how they're gonna do. But it just wasn't enough. DJ closing the gap there into the sash. Oh, oh. This game was dead even less than five minutes ago. And now it's two Phoenixes and a triple root from the best. Crush coming through, and that's going to be another kill. Zatman's not a triple as well. He will ricochet for a double kill. Well, you saw the plays out of Eager there as well, Adonis, but can they do it against Denial, who, like we said recently, they did just get back to winning ways with a beaten Envy, but they did lose to Saw and LG just before that one. Denial need to make a, a point here, because at the moment, they're mid-table. They're 6-6. Six and six. Here's the thing for Denial, though, right? They've only had one set with their, tr uh, I would say, you know, quote-unquote, true roster. Okay. Uh, and that was the 2-0 against Denvi after Mast was kicked off, and then he joined back with the Denial boys as they released Skeladon into the wild of wilds of Rand dozos and now i mean this is the squad that they had originally well, attended to go with week one they, they had play. him yes. right and here's the funny thing about denial both times they've actually 2 owed was against rendozos week one with masked <laughs> and against envy 2 0 with masked against envy so what does that tell you it says masked is pretty much i, I don't know if for the team. i don't know if i'm counting the rendozos right if, if they 2 0 eager here that, let's be honest like, i don't, I don't know working. if that's gonna happen because i think right now eager is the best team in north america next to enemy uh, at least consistency wise and i think thor's like right 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 there below them bands coming through in denial so i i really like what they're going to do here because what eager have done a lot is is find this 3v3 core centered around uh, sobek and kumba and then a wheelish uh for the jungle typically mm -hmm. and then like the zeus mid and they really like to dominate with that support focus from a raw this season has been cumber and sobek a little bit of your mid, which wasn't too successful no. and capri as well where will we see a raw go to them with that combat and sobek band coming out they really focus onto him obviously these teams obviously had a week and off Yes. With the bye week. So they've had a lot of time to practice and train for this. And it is going to be Zeus. So they're gonna, surprise. Uh, more importantly than grabbing it for themselves, I think they're keeping it away from the best. However, he does have that monster of Asilla in his back pocket. Uh, tied Cyclone's been for the most kills in a single game with 18. And that was honestly in a very competitive match where Cyclone was kind of like a raffle stomp. Uh, it's going to be Eager picking up Sol, though. And Zabian's had a little bit of practice with this, but he's been traditionally a hunter player. He's played two two times a season on the Sol. Once he did lose early on in the season, yes. then went away from it again but against randozos he did pick that up just recently and go to it and with geb locked in as well pretty safe duo lane coming out there more than likely unless we see best on soul which i'm not so sure we will really surprised to see geb here we actually haven't seen too much of him this season he's kind of fallen off also has a very low win rate because he doesn't really put out a lot of pressure and kepri was up as well mm -hmm. uh i don't I'm really interested that Eager didn't grab Kepri over Geb. I'm assuming it's because they want the Geb to be an initiator. Uh, an, an, you, you messed me up. I, I did. I did. An I'm sorry. Nija locked in as well. Once again, Denal going to have a very strong jungle. Okay. That duo lane strength from Zeus and Nija together. Going to put on some lot of pressure early on, especially if they both look for maybe power potions as well, just to add to that. And, and the Kepri as well, which is going to be a little bit more useful. Uh, Eager are going to go with their a wheelish pick, which they found very successful so far. And they've got the knock up with Geb as well. I was well. going to say, combines nicely. There, we get go. there, which makes a good reason for why they've gone with that. DJ Panic is going to go back to that one more time. He's three for three on it so far this season, actually. One or three games. If I'm denial right now, I'm banning Scylla, right? You've, mm. It's been so good for Eager and the best. You cannot let him get that god, especially when they have so much setup with Geb there and Cataclysm. Now, there is a little bit of flux, uh, sorry, a bit, a bit of flex here yes. for Sol as well. She could go to the duo, so to the mid lane, and best can play that on the backside as well against Zeus. It's a pretty good matchup for Sol and Zeus in terms of staying away from each other. Not be able They're going to gonna be at range. I, I think the mid camp fight goes away to Zeus and Najah, though, right? The double ring back. 
bounce that's true. Bit, or the double bounce Chain comp. In and then it's really bounce. nasty. It could be a bit of an issue if they do look for that. But I mean, as well, we have seen the best look at Giannis. They've also looked at Raijin <laughs> this season as well. He's like, <laughs> and, ready and, for it. and I love this, right? Denial Esports are targeting out Eager's core, which has really been the the bread and butter of their of their compositions, right? Zatman and Divius, they play whatever, whatever the hell they want, basically. Well, and say, then it's always have a very dominating core. You say Divius plays whatever he wants. Oh, Vulcan? All right, I'm down. Prime? We're I'm prime down. in it. Well, I was going to say, Divios, he's played two gods pretty much yes. this year. Raven and Rat. That's pretty much it. He's had like one game on Hercules. Yeah, yeah I, think I, I think it won on tier as well, maybe. Raven, I believe he's played that like seven, seven times, times something like this that. season. It, it's insane. crazy. But the Vulcan could gonna combine nicely as well. Another knockup for Wheelish to find a pool, and we've seen Hungry for more specifically execute uh, the Naja Vulcan combo. So we'll have to see how this a Wheelish Vulcan combo works out. Take into account Feather Step does technically root and silence you in place. Yes. Stalk. Oh, sorry, root and cripple, not silence. Roots and cripples you in place, which makes confirming damage on that target easy for that little period of time. Right, just, just think about that, right? Because not it's not even if Vulcan meatballs you and a Wheelish pulls you in. It's like Feather Step. Meatball Back pulls you in, backfire, yep. dead. Apollo logged in as well now for Denial. Final pick will be Chuck for the solo lane. Devios going for a Chuck pick here. No longer Raven or Rat. Uh, so he's going to be switching up, and he, he had the counter pick. So this is a matchup he likes into Osiris specifically. Also, uh, very important to note here is the silence on Chuck. We could see... Um, a lot of times, soul laners will focus on the back line. We mm -hmm. could see him entirely look to target out Kepri to make sure he can't hit that revive. Very good call. And the one thing we've seen from Devios this year, apart from when he plays Ratatoska, but on that Raven, he's looking for game control more than anything else. Lane control. Get domination there, not rely on any jungle pressure whatsoever. Let's see if he can do that in this first game. Still looking to go in. Benji made it out. Xenotron knocks over the wall. We'll take out Ionic. And now dashing Xenotronics. corner. Xeno finds a double kill. Face to the face. Turn it back around. Master the jungle though. He just two shot Kind of looks to try and dash away, but the ball's already there. And Benji recognizes that. Doesn't use his dash. Holds in place. Gets the stun. Turn around. Kill 2v1. Into game we go. Denial versus Eager. And we're going to tune straight in with Shadow Q as well. As we look through the itemization, I can see Xenotronics has gone for the Power Potion and Soulstone start here. In response, the best looks like he's going through a very similar build in that mid lane. Uh, it looks like it. He has two mana potions right now. He has 1,500 gold in his pocket. Oh, is that 1,400? Oh, okay, I, I think that's uh, not accurate right now. Gold doesn't come on until the minions spawn. I know, I Kevin. realize that. I'm Kevin, sorry. please. Sorry, I'm working on it. Please. Uh, guys, code on your screen there at the There's top. There's a code, guys! At the top left. Uh, hashtag Allied Strong. You got five minutes to redeem it. I believe it's an Odyssey chest. Uh, smi uh, Promo.smitegame.com or in-game. In -game. Both work. Either or, use it. You've got four and a half minutes to do so, as now we can focus all on the action. Watch his gift for both the supports as usual. Blink, though, online for a roar. You wow. mentioned that we may look at him going aggressive, and that's why they didn't go for the Kepri. Well, a blink early on on a Geb, that says they're looking for the plays early from him. That man, I'm assuming here, going to be peeling all by himself in the best. It's kind of like, good luck, buddy. Uh, a roar, I think, going to be the aggressor in this match. Obviously, he's still... He's still Geb, so I, I suspect in a lot of these fights he's going to blink in, use all his abilities, and then kind of peel off to the back line and look to support his team. And we said the story for Eager this season, after going on the 6-0 and win streak against Saw, against Enemy, against Randozos, has all been this trio from the mid lane, the jungler, the support, and the mid lane combining together and just leaving Devios and Zatman to their own devices and like, yeah, guys, you deal with yourselves. We're going to try and make things work at the beginning of the game. Uh, I'm going to be really interested to see here how Zapman does because, like I said, he always prefers to be on these traditional hunters. I feel like we're it, he has the most success oh. on there. Uh, best taking a lot of early damage as Xenotronics clears out this lane solo in the double ring bounce. Sash, Beatball, Mariana, first blood to Xenotronics, and now DJ's going to walk away. And that was just beautifully played. That, That's all that, it was. that was Xenotronics doing a ton of damage to the best in his potion. You know, it's ticking away, but it's not healing him up instantly. DJ Pernicus is going to try and steal away these. Not going to happen. Level 3 now for Denial. And the best just was not aware of masked honestly coming around the corner the ring toss. there was only a single minion too that was a big key the lack of minions made the ring toss bounce between the pair of them dealt enough damage for xenotrunks just to pick up the kill and already denial off to a great start and with them taking right harpies at the beginning of the game denial can continue their experience lead by looking at these uh, another big thing too on that first blood was the fact that mask also was able to successfully burn purification on the best which means they now have still a two minute window to try and just focus down the best to where he's not going to get away right if mask hits five 
before two minutes, I'm, he's just going to go on to the best. Nothing he can do about it. Gone for purification, though, did mass. We didn't see an aggressive blink start, which we've seen that one again come out on some of the Najars. But playing at the safer route, and already you can see how passive. Eager's going to have to be. Great slash again from mass. Great poke damage and another kill for Xenotronics. Secured by mask. Double bounce, boys. Denial right now playing this perfectly. And still, they, they still have that opportunity to force the best off. And mass is going to hit five here. How, Best is going to have a lot of trouble in this match, even pushing up halfway into his lane. We said the strength of Eager has been the th trio yes, in mid lane, but court. Aurora needs to get over there soon. But how can he at only two minutes in? He's got to sit with Zatman early on. Meanwhile, Denial and this duo, this pair, are just starting to destroy them already. They're both level five, stealing away back harpies. They can't really do anything in the jungle. Is the lane pressure from Apollo and Capri just too much as well? This, for me, is Denial. Their picks and bans were so good, right? They they ban away the two supports that are core for Eager's composition. They force them into the Geba Wheelish, and then they ban away the mages that they like to combo with it, right? So they do get their Wheelish, which Eager like the most, but then they take away what they normally like to use to set up with it, and then they also take away the two mages they like to set it up with. Well, what you saw from Zeta Trunks there as well, he held the wave to try and bring in Eager, but at the same time allow Mass to get there for the experience as well as he did look for an opportunity over in that gym. Lane as well, 2 0 already. Both kills on a Zeus is not something you want to see. Where do you want to see his build go to next? Uh, straight for boots, straight into Doom Orb, maybe if you're doing so much damage. You, you could game. see Dynasty played Helm as well, um, if, if you really want to, but I suspect he will go into boots. Uh, the best defense is not being incredibly slow and just having that 18% movement speed is very important to make sure you can create space. But if he feels very safe in the fact that he does have a Kepri, he could just go straight into the Dynasty Plate Helm. So a little bit of pressure relieved by Denial there in the mid lane. You saw that Mass went back to base to get the Warrior Tabby maxed. However, Red Buff being invaded now by them on the left hand side, at least from Shadow and Vishim. They will not manage to get that, I don't think. I don't think nope. they secured that at all. No, uh, Mask oh, is going to be able to walk over here, pick this one up. Yeah. Uh, Zeus is a little bit too dangerous to get in there. And uh, I, I did suspect that Zatman would ult there, but a little bit too late to try and secure it. And it goes to Niles' way right now, and they have full control of this match. Already 1,500 in the lead, and it's only three minutes. Now, they do have a good lead here, Adonis, but the problem is is that this is an early game comp in terms of wave clear, right? Yes. They've got, obviously, they have the with the Najah, have with the, the Zeus, with the Capri and Apollo, those two lanes should automatically be pushing and having the advantage. But there's still a chance for Eager back in this one it's only four minutes like you said though it's 1500 gold. Uh, the, the big thing here though is right this early game the double bounce like you suspect them to control the mid rps and maybe steal away the buff but you don't suspect them to have two kills and a 1500 gold lead this early and you know denial they are in a very intelligent team they know what to do with this lead and i suspect that they're going to really start to force everything they can here before the 10 minute mark and probably even go for an early gold fury. I would imagine before the eight minute mark, they're gonna look to sneak one. Well, first two trips back to base at four to Xenotronics and Shadow Q there. You can see he did go for that uh, plate helm that you were talking about there on Xenotronics' Zeus. And Shadow Q went for reinforced Greaves early on. Meanwhile, his counterpart, Aurora, looking at going for the travel issues for the extra gold and mobility coming out for him on that. And the uh, solo laners are swinging away right now. Almost even a gold, but Benji has a slight lead. And Divio's going to teleport away. Actually, Divio's getting very aggressive, but Benji going to jump in place. Divio's avoids it, but neither uh -oh. team going to be able to find the kill. Maybe it's DJ Perticus. There's the knock-up feather step as Minions. well. Needs one more hit. Minions. Oh, but he can't find it. Tether is enough to get him away from the danger. Axe misses from Divio's. And Divio's actually will jump, though, to that and pick up Benji as Benji was trying to get away. But a nice little play comes out from Denial. But, sorry, from Eager. But a better one comes out from Denial as so they're looking at the gold. They're trying to sneak it. However, Eager, no. I suspect that they're going to drop this. This isn't a very safe one, especially considering Zatman has Supernova and Stellar Burst, two, two big giant AoEs there that you really um, are a little bit worried. Like, it's just very hard to fight into that, right? Or, or force the Gold Fury into that. Two to one then with that gank over on the right hand side, picking up Benji early on. It does allow Devios a little bit of breathing room to go back to base there. And both of them without teleport right now, so he's not going to lose anything in wave as well. Both working towards potentially Breastplate of Valor, but we've seen a lot more of Namini and Lion this year um, as the season's gone on, just because of the cost more than anything else, I think. And a lot of it too is like, you'll see it more specifically against Auto Attacker versus Auto Attacker. Uh, a lot of Osiris's Robins will pick it up. I don't know if Devios is going to in this matchup specifically, be, or I would say, Benji's going to pick it up because uh -huh. he's not really 
Because Divios is not really auto-attacking him. He's kind of just, like, avoiding him and then throwing axes at him. He's more than anything else. Tether comes out again from Benji there, just his own Divios away. And he'll clear up the creeps in that lane. So, already, a bit of an impact in that solo lane. And that, that was what they kind of needed, Eager, there, to get themselves on the board. Pernicus coming over there and making it work in the end when Benji played it pretty well and, up and, to that point. And both solo laners are rotating. I, I think Eager wanted to force something. Um, oh, actually, they are going to force something. And it's Benji pulled out of position here. He's going to be able to oh. ult away. And I don't think DJ really wanted to do that. And you can immediately see what DJ did. As soon as the ult went off from a raw, he's immediately going right across to the Gold Fury area because they know that's exactly what Denial are looking for. Keep an eye on the best, though, because he's got that ultimate available. Cataclysm hits down. Denial, they're actually looking for some kills, but the root's going to miss their stellar burst. Mask by himself on the right-hand side. However, Eager don't want to try and force anything. They are worried about the rest of the Denial rotating over. And for now, Eager, they stimmed the bleeding pretty nicely. Well, they committed a lot to the right-hand side there to try and find Benji, but didn't get punished in the end by Denial. It wasn't an opportunity for them. They did lose left harpies once more, but that's been going that way all the time for Denial so far anyway. So not too much of a difference so far. And it is the it is this jungle mid that really has the lead right now, and uh, Eager done a, has done a nice job of not really worrying about this. But Gold Fury started once again. Oh, knows that, about it. With that all being down, that's going to be a false situation. Here comes the ult from Vulcan. Is it going to be enough for the kill? No denial. We'll get the Gold Fury, but Shadow Q abducted in and has to ult himself back out. But he'll get out. No chase comes out from Eager, and now Denial continue pushing the golden experience. Best fire, the max range ultimate, but unfortunately the, the time it takes to travel uh, a little bit too long and now they're able to secure that gold fury just in time. 2,600 gold now in the lead and I and I actually really love that. They forced gold fury, uh, Ego recognizes it and then, okay, you're not going to do it, backs off. They wait like 10 more seconds and they're like, again? we're going to go back in because we know we have the ward vision on it and you're going to suspect that we had back to base. The commitment from Denial to do that though, because they used the Zeus ult very, very early yes, doing that gold very. fury. So you, you're all in at that point, because if you don't, you're going to end up losing it, because they'll come over with the Vulcan and attempt it themselves. Benji over in the solo lane, trying to put some pressure on Devios, and Devios is going to pick up those creeps, but he will lose his ball because of this. I, I don't think he's too worried about it right now. Uh, he is getting out-pressured, but it's not by much. I mean, he's down 100 gold. That's nothing at this point. It's a talking point, though, because you see Benji's already used his teleport there, so Devios, he could hang around a little bit longer and try and use that teleport to come back to lane again and put some pressure on, but Respite of Valor is what he picked up and then teleported back to the lane as well. So, so he wants he wants the cooldown. He is ability-based here and actually doing a fair amount of poke over on to Benji, and I suspect this is going to be a slap fight unless uh, another one of these junglers rotate out rotates over, which we did see both of them kind of like peering over here, but they back off. Oh, but no, Mast is not going to have any idea that DJ has just rotated over here. This might be perfect timing. Will we find anything going oh, he's on baiting. He's, he's taking Divios a lot of up. shots. Good knock up, good pull. Is the feather step available? It is, and DJ Penicus will pick it up after the axe that, connected from Divios. Team. That was... Uh, beautiful and unfortunate at the exact same time, right? Mass walks over, he's looking to see if he can force something on Divios, it's not there. So he walks back to mid lane. Just as that's happening, DJ Pernicus cuts underneath him. There's no ward there on the side of Denial. And Benji thinks he's safe. He's like, oh, Mass was just in there, no one's there. And then Divios baits him really hard, jumps into the tower, teleports away. Benji's like, why are you doing this? This is a free traded win for, or trade win for me, but DJ's right around the corner. So the strategy for Denial coming into this was pick some bands, get priority onto Eager to make sure they're weakened there. However, I like what Eager's done too. They've recognized Benji's very aggressive. He always wants to fight yes. if there's an opportunity, and that's allowed DJ to just come over there twice now, pick up two kills in a row for his team, and try and bring this one a little bit even. And that means that DVOs, you know, if he keeps ha this keeps happening, he can look for some damage. As we see Damage in the mid lane. Not enough though, as Mast able to get away. There's the lightning storm in return. DJ Pernicus jumps over the wall, but Great waited old. for him was Great Mast. Old. He found him perfectly. Will pick up the kill and get the ultimate straight away from Shadow Q just in case they did look for the all in to return the kill. Jungler falls down, Pernicus to fall. That was beautiful timing from the Mast. There was actually no chance for DJ to even reactionary purification because he was still like dismounting Suku as he lands, which means he can't use anything at that time frame. And Mast just takes him to the sky. Perfect. He just got red. Got perfectly red and a really good pickup once again by Mast. Who, let's be honest, when he's been on the side of denial, he's looked very good yes, every he's game. He's more comfortable, right? Relaxed. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to Drelo, right, and what he tweeted um, a little bit after they got Mast back in. Whereas 
where it was, if you are scared of your team, whether it be of getting replaced, uh, uh, of whatever it is, you're never going to play to the best of your ability. You need to be comfortable on your squad. You need to have no fear of getting replaced. And I think we're seeing Mast at the level we expected him to be at this season. Well, once again, another gang from Pernicus once more onto Benji. The tether is down, though, so you can see that he doesn't panic. Benji there didn't use his ultimate after getting pulled in whatsoever. Played it very well to sustain himself and not be forced out. Really surprised there that uh, we saw that gank from a full health Osiris, right? If he's a little bit more poked out, maybe we see a return. Mast here, though, going to find the double ring bounce once again. Divio still has ultimate, but he holds strong just like Benji did. And nothing's going to happen. Nothing's going to happen. He's going to wash the fight because he buffs all on his wood like to base. But with a minion wave there, I guess they'll both want to soak it up before heading back there one more time. Gold Fury still down for about another 50 seconds. So that's why you can see more rotation to the solo lane at the moment. And honestly, this lead's still not that massive for Zanai. I believe it's just under 3,000 we're seeing here. But this next Gold Fury could be the breaking point, right? If Denial secure it when the Gold Fury is worth more, you know, later in the game, that's when they could really start to break open the match. Uh, more importantly is the experience, because Mast has held about a two-level lead on DJ Pernicus most of this game. If that gets extended anymore, it's worrying. Oh, Cataclysm, followed by the ultimate from Vulcan, is not enough to pick up the kill. But now we're going to see Mast turn it around on a raw, who's got no defense to get away. The rollout was used, but a great Abduct from Shadow Q will allow the detonate from Xenotronics to pick up the kill again on, let's be honest, it was an aggression coming out from Denial and responded by Eager. The, the biggest problem right now is how far behind Best is. It's a thousand gold, and you've seen it twice now where Eager, they look for this Wombo Combo on a and regardless of the Kepriel, they simply don't even do close to enough damage. Vulcan, while he has burst, he doesn't have the items online to do that burst. You talk about the gold difference, you can see, like you said, a thousand gold in the mid lane, and then the jungle as well. There's roughly a 1500 gold lead there as well in favor of Denial. The two mid, the mid lane jungle composition of Denial's weights are so strong in this game. And, and, and I love what Best does, right? He recognizes that he's behind, and he doesn't go for a safe item. He goes for the item that's going to increase his damage, so those these combos will start to become successful. I, it's do more. I agree, but I love what we see with response from Xenotronic saying, instead, even though he's got a lead and he's doing very well for himself, he knows he's going to get focused in these fights. So what does he do? He looks for some extra defense, looking for that breastplate of Valor now to go with his build. The thing is, though, that doesn't do anything about uh, for Aurora in the best, right? As long as they do the combo right. Now, if DJ Pernicus pulls him out of position and starts feather stepping, yeah, that's going to reduce a lot of damage, but this is doing nothing against uh, the combo point. of Geb and... Well, it's also Sol as well. He's okay. a mage at the end of the game. Magical damage there. It's not going to protect, give you much protection. It's only really going to be against DJ and Devios, which I guess at the late stages of the game, they're the two that are going to be getting to him first. It's still CDR, though, which is important, so he's able to get more damage off uh, for now, though, game pace has slowed a little bit. Gold Fury has respawned, and the question is, when is Denial going to look to force it again? Because I suspect they will be the team that's looking for it. We're well, chilling with the solo layers once more. Devious, I did see him building some damage. He went for the Transcendent, Ooh, which okay. was first picked up over by Zalia over in the solo lane over in Europe. But we can see, I think, because of the pressure that we've had from DJ Pernicus to the solo lane, it's allowed Devious to feel comfortable enough to go for some extra damage this game. And both of these characters have a little bit of sustain, right? Devious is going to have more, and it's going to be kind of based around the auto attacking and like the multi hit coming out from Death Toll from Benji here. But. I mean, if Divios can just poke Benji out a little bit, we could see another gank. Well, he wants to farm, but he has to get over to this Gold Fury right now, which is being contested. He doesn't have a teleport here, and with him getting here before Benji, it oh, does neither. mean Denial needs to be very aware of that. Neither have teleport, actually. Mm -hmm. And I think Denial recognized that the second they see that Divios has rotated over before Benji, they're like, back off. We can't have this fight uh, forced down a man. Once again, then they just return to mid lane, and you can see that because of this, though, Benji is going to get some free farm over Devios here and lose a couple of minions to the tower for Devios, who has a bit of an experience and value, so it's not going to hurt him too much at 1 0 and 1. As we're still watching Xenotronics and Mass there, Benji looking to steal away and will steal away successfully, I believe, did that ball. All right, did he? I, th I think so. I thought the torrent secured. I don't Maybe know. It was close. It was very close. It's whatever, it's a ball. He man. tried. It's worth like 10 gold. <laughs> So I just won't be saying it's, that. It's, but, more than, it's, it's more than that. Uh, Gold Fury going to be counter warded over by... I don't Shadow care about that. There's a code on the screen, Kevin. Get your code now, boys and girls. Guess what it is? It's Triumphant Agni. So you got five minutes to get it in. Zapman is trying to stay alive at the moment. He is probably going to fall down, but a shield over the wall from a row will keep him alive for now. Not and enough. it's enough to survive one more rotation of the So Beautiful. Here comes the Soul Laners, though. And actually, Denial, it looked like they were going to collapse onto Divios, but he's going to make it his way into tower safely here. And the best uh, still trying to form those Doom Orb stacks. Only 11 right now. Or is that 17? I can't tell. Either way, Divios just stole away from him, and I'm sure he's baby raging. Of course he is.
That's what all hunters do. They want they need those stacks to get themselves up, but there's no stacking going on from Zatman, right? <laughs> I guess. No. Not at the moment. Not yet. Maybe. V should know, with his build coming out this time, no Assy coming out here. Devour's gone. Oh, wow. Now, this is something that Barracuda for me was the first one that we started seeing more and more often doing, going for the extra health from this Devour's Gauntlet because I guess you're getting the opportunity to farm a little bit more. A, a lot of this too is probably be because it's Apollo where he has uh, Audacity, his passive, which is going to increase his attack speed 100% um, every 10 hits. So mm. that's pretty big, honestly. And, and that's one of the things. It's very easy to overcap Apollo's attack speed when Audacity is proc'd. So, I mean, when it's... When Audacity's online, I mean, this is simply a higher DPS And Devour's Godless, he's been around for a while. He's not been picked up too much, but he's got power in that. And it will, uh, you know, help out the amount. to do. It doesn't have amount. penetration, though, which is kind of the big thing. And it's also a little bit more expensive than Aussie. So it, Ikfal, it, it's, you know, a, it's an interesting trade-off. Still got Ikfal there instead of the, for penetration anyway bit, without yeah. the Aussie. So it's not too bad, bad situation. He's going to go for Chins as well to go with this more than likely. As you can see, he's working on some of the attack speed now. Probably not going to be the Aussie. Although that is an option as well, I guess. If he wants to go into double life steal, which could be powerful. We haven't really seen too many players use that, but he is going to delay the However, Gold Theory started once They're again going eager. They're going to read it out. There's a war. Finds the blink here. Vishium. Oh, actually Iga gets full it. comboed. And the Gold Theory was stolen. Eager got it. I'm pretty sure that was all Zatman actually didn't pick it up. The Vulcan ult was a little bit too late to secure that one. However, Zatman was there with a the stellar burst as well as the Supernova to make sure the Gold Theory goes that way. And that was the issue I thought I saw in the first game yes. of it. If you drop the Zeus ult early, you have to fully commit and make sure you secure it. Otherwise, they could turn it. And against a Vulcan and a Sol, it could happen. And, and, and that's what I said when they first like baited it, right? It's like it's very hard to kind of steal this against a soul, even if you have the Zeus. That's why we saw last game as well. Randozo's actually, um, uh, Aduro specifically on this Isis, like forced out the the Zeus because they're like, we can't worry. They have uh, this burst mage ultimate. We really don't want to have to risk getting it stolen away in denial, right? As long as Eager recognizes that it's happening, they can't get it for free. And Eager have done a very good job now of getting themselves back into this game. Early on, you saw the pressure that denial had in both the duo and the mid lanes, but since then, Eager with that couple of rotations to the solo lane and now with that goal fury being stolen away from Denal who started it it's kind of even things up once more the the game is essentially dead even at this point right 1200 gold separate the team so a little bit of experience um, mm -hmm. a lot of that coming from DJ Pernicus being so far behind but at this point he doesn't need to do damage all he needs to do is hit his ult right that's all he's he has a setup to do god now yeah he's, he's gonna be a setup god with the ultimate make sure he pulls somebody into the situation and then if he does the team should be the ones to clean that one up as well if he can cause a few issues like he kind of does DJ Pedicus' playstyle is one of these be around the map, be everywhere, try and get focus onto you, and then get away with Suku. And uh, Boar going to be secured by Benji here on this right-hand side as Eager very deep uh, into Denial's jungle here. And now you can see Denial for the first time ever actually the ones getting pressured out. We don't, we haven't seen this yet. Not for the time being, that's true. The right heart hobbies have now spawned. Best is going to swing around and see Shadow Q. He's a little bit far forward, doesn't realize by DJ's himself. there right now. He's His absolutely by himself. have left him alone, but there was no knock-up coming in through there after a raw hit the shockwave. There was no follow-up, I should say, from DJ Pernicus. DJ Pernicus not probably wanting to pull that Capri out of position. Uh, not the best to always focus that support here, especially... Out position, though. Devios is a little bit. A raw's trying to give him some support here. He actually has the defensive ult there as well, Devios. So a small win for Denial, but can they get anything off it? Because they did just lose that tier one tower and uh, the rotation from the Hunters as well on both sides. Uh, they're going to find their way to the mid lane, and it looks like both teams have kind of backed off there. I don't think Eager want to force anything with Divios' ult being down. So looking at Benji's build here as well, gone for the Meditation, but also picked up a Pestilence here. Is that just a deal with Divios? Or is it just because the item's valuable anyway? It's just valuable. It, it's, it, it's honestly just that valuable. At the point, obviously, you're going to reduce a little bit of healing uh, coming out from Divio specifically, and there's no like Hunter with Lifesteal, yeah. right? Zatman has a little bit of stain, but it's nothing that you would ever buy Pestilence for. It's simply just a very gold-efficient magical item. Magical defense item. Well, it looked like Denial was going to clear up a ward there, look for the potential red buff, but it's just been taken already there by Eager. You can see, actually, on Zatman, he was wise to go and pick that one up before. Denial made that rotation for that. So once again, we're going to tune in with Mast, who, once again, is having a great game. Yeah, I mean, he's 1-0-3. Uh, and three. He set up uh, almost every single kill. Actually, every single kill that Denial's had or secured it himself. He's gone into the, the winged blade, so going to be uh, avoiding a couple of the slows coming out from Eager and more importantly, just have that extra movement speed to kind of get him in and out of fights. Yeah, Wingblade, obviously, the Jotun's working on some crit finally as well. As now you see Benji come over here as well to pick up his blue buff one more time and head back to the solo lane once more. Got about a minute and a half for the next goal for you to spawn. And I think this one's going to be a key is, do you want to see Denal go for this again when it spawns? Or would you rather 
make them look for a pick. They'll, they'll have to pick, all. right? The first one, I think, was pretty free. The second one was pretty free, and they realized it Blink too. Blink engaged from a raw, but immediately purification comes out from Xenotronics. No real follow-up is his only shadow Q with him in the mid lane, but he defends for now. I mean, that's worth, right? Aurora uh, has no cooldown in his build, but Cataclysm still 90 seconds as opposed to the 160 second cooldown onto Xenotronics. All he has now is that Sanctuary. And if Eager can find someone very deep uh, there, they could just, they could simply CC bottom, right? One knock up, DJ Perticus pulls him out of position and best finishes him off if, at this point. If Aurora has been calculating this map perfectly, he knows that his beads are the same cooldown as the Golf Hero right now. So his blink is not the same cooldown as the Golf Hero right now. So he can technically blink initiate one more time right when the Golf Hero spawns. And obviously Xenotronics, he's not going to have that available. And uh, I do suspect that uh, Aurora's pretty pretty aware of that. Red buff going to go the way of, of Mast, actually. So Denial giving it over to him. That's the second time in a row I believe I've seen that so far. And there is a blink initiation from him looking for a pick here on to DJ Pernicus, who's very low already, but a good shield comes out from a roar. The route was not connect, but the detonate will. And Apollo's in the sky here, but I'm not sure he's going to go in. There's not going to be any follow-up uh, coming out and denial. They're just going to back off. And I love that ultimate placing from Xenotronics. It, it, he didn't get more damage off of DJ, but what he did is he actually separated out a roar in the best, so they couldn't come and help him. But look at this. This, this is sneaking important. in behind. He has to get in here and just help weather the storm. And then he's going to do that as well with that rain coming out. The ultimate from Vulcan does connect, but it's not a lot of damage. Thanks to the shell being used by Shadow Q there. But Eager just trying to hold off for Benji. a second, waiting for DJ to respawn. But now Benji's around the back. He's actually found one route so far. He's going to search forward, find the tether onto multiple players. But it doesn't look like Eager going to be caught. They pop Sprint and successfully get out. But Denial, they're going to be rotating over to this Gold Fury. But Devious' rotation has bought enough time for DJ Pernicus to respawn. So we will see a five on five. Couple of ultimates have been used by both teams. though. Aurora does have his available, though. And they need to defend this Gold Fury. And that's why Devious is in deep. Gets a good shield gets a good ult on all five members but there's no follow-up just yet he's trying to get back out he should be able to get out but he gets rooted and Pidgey gonna try and chase him but he gets knocked up and now Vadium isolates that man on the side one pulled over to the right hand side Benji very low there's the Kepper revive though so he'll be fine however Denial forced off a gold Zatman played that so well on the left hand side he got isolated from his team as the rest of Denial was swinging around to pick up Devios and his team helped out Devios and left Zatman alone oh. but Zat managed to get away with it and now they're going for the gold as Denial of back towel. There's only Vedium left alive here, and he's getting zoned by Divios and Denial. What? They all just backed. Did they expect him to back? I guess they did, because Teleport obviously was used by Divios to get himself back into the, and Teleport was on cooldown for Why would Benji. they not? They all, every single member backed except for Vedium, and that's because he was still farming. They just didn't expect it, I guess, and that was a very good call from Eager. Now that is completely evened up the gold experience. Still in Denial's favor, though. And, uh, Basically a dead even game however with that. I mean five to three in kills right now. We're twenty three minutes in and this is this is honestly the game we expected coming out. Denial comes out with a beautiful pick and ban strategy. They win the hard two V two, the double bounce comp coming out of Xenotronics and Mast with that Najat and Zeus. They find a couple kills, they snowball a fifteen hundred gold lead, but it's been Eager's Gold Fury control after the first one goes to Denial that has been phenomenal. I think the run of form from Eager as well has really played into their strength for this game as well. Because they've won the last six in a row. If they'd lost the last couple with the way this game started, Maybe the heads collapsed. probably would have dropped, but they didn't drop. They've stayed in it, and now I think Massey's going to look for a blink here. He, he wants it. And you can see Benji like just throwing out some poke, in, and Shadow Q's waiting around that corner as well. They're trying to find the best, but he's having none of it, and he's had very good awareness so far uh, this season. Still, uh, very Benji. deep is Benji right now. Yeah, under the tier one tower, but he's not too worried. He's still got Kepri waiting in the wings to give him the ultimate if required. They didn't take too much poke from that, especially... Oh. With that breastplate. D it, Divios has no TP. Eager are not trying to fight at all. They're trying to just sit under tower and allow Divios to try and split push. Yeah, because Benji now having to rotate all the way over there. It's going to get to about half health. And obviously Divios with that torrent will be able to just jump straight over the wall again. Smart. At the last second, got a few extra shots on, which is quite smart. And now uh, Benji, no teleport either uh -oh. for another 20 seconds. And Divios Zeno. could force something. You could see Denial very deep, but they're missing their soul inner. Den He's Zeno by himself. Know. He has He'll no idea. Now. Gonna get chopped down. The slow is gonna come out from the rain. There's the ultimate as well, which is a very good sanctuary from Xenotronics to escape the danger. But that is another relic down. And uh, the timing there as uh, Vesh uh, Vidium comes crashing down. Not going to find anything, though. Really surprised there. Ult's over, but it was only Divios in the lane by himself. That worked out okay, because, I mean, best to just use ultimate to try and pick up the um, pick up Xenotronics, and then Vishim uses his in response. So yes. ult for ult. It's not so bad. Pretty even trade. However, that sanctuary is still down in denial. This Najah is going to start to fall off a little bit, and uh, they still... Uh, I, I think Denial are going to be much better once 
Vedium starts becoming a part of these team fights, right? He, they, the team has five kills and he's only been a, an assistant on one. Well, talking about Vedium as well, look at his build. Executioner. After the Devourer's Gauntlet's there, he didn't go for Chins whatsoever. He's gone for the extra, well, basically penetration you get from that. You said he was lacking it a bit without RC. Well, he's chosen Executioner. So, mathematically, in most situations, Titan's Bane is actually better than Executioner. Um, talking to uh, Caps Lock Fury for the first nine out of ten hits uh, that a player connects. However, okay. because he's gone into this build where he doesn't have a lot of attack speed because he didn't go the Aussie, he went into the Devo's Gauntlets. This is, I think, to make up for it and allow him to get his uh, passive online more often. So is it all about actually landing those Im impactful shots with every auto, make sure yes. everyone's well aimed, and then not having so many spread out, just getting the powerful ones every time. And he's also going to have more lifesteal on the his crit build, too, as well. with this. And, and going into the crit, he wants these big, powerful hits. We'll see how big and powerful they are because the solo lane as well, they're tanky enough. And Devious being aggressed on by Benji with the ultimate early, but they both got people coming in response. The ult came out from Mass there, but Devious responded with one of his own. And the gank has now failed as multiple members of the supports now swinging over here as well to defend. Uh, 4v4 over here on this right hand side as DJ Pernicus comes up the lane. The hunter's stuck in the mid once again. Look at again. the swing though. They're, even the hunters come to mid as well for this fight in the right hand side, which is still being pressured. There's no tower here. And it could be Xenotronics in a bit of an awkward position as Aurora goes over. For his purification out of Xenotronics once more, and Xenotronics has been focused all game long, but he's come up very well to survive. Right, uh, actually, uh, Mast caught over there, and here actually comes Vedium here. Might want to land down, but most members of Eager are full health. Divio's the only one isolated right now, and that's who his target is. Four members surrounding him, but this is still a warrior, and this is a lot of investment into Divio's. Benji on the front line there with the feather step from Pernik is going to slow him down for a second. They're still looking potentially Benji for Divio's here, who doesn't have his ultimate left. The team of Denial got stuck in the jungle a little bit there, so they weren't able to swing around that turret from the best. Just bought them enough time for the Eager to disengage. The biggest thing there was that two teams had very, uh, very good positioning, so neither could really find an advantage. It was only kind of these front lines that were the only ones caught out, which is not really caught out. That's where they're supposed to be. So a lot of investment into Shadow Q and into Divios, but neither can come up uh, with a kill onto them. They just simply don't have the damage right now to lock them down. I think if Denial would have realized how many people were on the back there of Eager, they could have looked for that tier one tower in mid lane. Instead, there's still four members around this area as well. Vishim should be heading over to the left hand side soon, especially with that two waves of minions heading down that lane right now. He doesn't want to lose too much of that. And the Gold Fury spawning. Couple more seconds here. Vedium gonna back for now. Gold Fury has respawned, and Denial are in their own jungle for now. I don't think they're all gonna be backing in unison uh, as they did last time. I expect a couple members to stick around. It's going to be a roar finding the the counter ward right now, and this is this is probably going to be the next point of contention. Yeah, but we just got to wait for Mass to get back before anybody else can back. Vishim does want to go back to base, though. That's the big talking point. He, you saw him actually thinking about it there to try and sell that throwing dagger more than likely. Invest more. He's got a thousand gold in his inventory as well. Can look for, to sell that throwing dagger and then. It's actually not. Crit. That's not very efficient. I think he gets a thousand for it. So it's only two thousand. So if he's going to go into crit again, he can only get a tier two. And throwing dagger is providing. Is it still I think it's more, right? I think it's fifteen percent crit and fifteen power. Maybe he just wants the crit chance though. No crit on throwing dagger now. No, I'm saying if he if he goes oh, into another right. crit item. I think many people for crit and that one with the throwing dagger. Like, eh, not anymore. It used to be. It was OP. It's like, yeah, what is that? It's 50, 1,500 gold, 15 power, 15 crit, I think, for the tier two. No, he's actually full sold for a Titan's Bane. So that is a lot well. of penetration for these frontliners. Talking about engagement in the mid lane, you can see Mast under pressure. Does get out with Zap his ult. Wants Zap really wants that kill. Supernova will not connect. Vishim comes dunking in on the front line, but instead he loses half his health immediately to a meatball as well as the Celebrity. He goes round the back. Going to look for his attention to turn to Xenotronics. If you want to look to Vishim, he may have found a kill. Benji has to teleport in. Eager get the tier one tower and Denial desperately trying to defend at the same time as maybe just cause some problems. Once again, Eager execute just this very intelligent style where they force members out. And you saw Divios, maybe he he pr he maybe could have chased down someone for a kill. He had his ultimate, but instead he immediately turns around and focuses on the tower. The whole point of Eager this season has been get what we want, don't get over aggressive, don't even try and come close to risking a lead. And the funny thing is, this is only three kills on Eager. Yeah. There's only been eight kills in the game, five of them went to denial, three of them are Eagers, and yet Eager are actually winning the game now. They were down 1,500 gold in the first, first three minutes and somehow have recovered to have a lead. Now, on your screen, boys and girls, is an Odyssey chest for your pleasure. You've got five minutes to claim that code. You can do it in-game or at the website on your screen, promo.smitegame.com. Enjoy. Less than five minutes left. 
and uh, it looks like we have a little bit of split pushing down. That tier one on left was secured by Vedium earlier in the game, so it's a little bit risky to try and force that tier two, especially because both teams are still in contention to the Gold Fury instead of the Fire Giant. So he's going to swap over to the Soul Lane and keep Divios busy. So what are Denial doing wrong here? Because they had the start of the game. The second Gold Fury they lost, and since then, they've just not looked the same. They've, they're struggling. They're getting a lot of things forced out before any fight actually breaks out. Like, Xenotronics is been caught by himself in lane multiple times. Talk about getting caught out of position there. You saw the pressure onto Zatman come out there from Mass, but Max ate more of that than he actually wanted to give Dish out. Obviously, Zatman using Disapparate to his advantage to avoid a lot of that damage. And now, uh, Denial with that ultimate down, they're actually going to be forcing this here. Teleport coming in from Divios, and D Denial immediately separated, actually. Xenotronics forced to purify. Beautiful timing coming up from him, but Eager, they got what they wanted. Look at Xenotronics. Every time he gets engaged on it, Relic, Relic, straight away on point. That's why he's 4-0-1 right now. He's having a great game. Look at the left-hand side, though. DJ swinging around the back. Is he Divio wants him. Trying to pick on Vishim at the moment. Force Vishim out of the fight. Perdicus did look for the pull, but didn't find anybody. And now Benji's trying to pick on Divio's back. A shadow queue. A little bit of an awkward position, but the tether from Benji buys his team a moment. And now you're going to have to see Osiris back away. Only Supernova still available for Eager. If you're looking at their ultimates, it's on Zapman here. And uh, Vedium actually just going to heal up a little bit with these Devourer's Gauntlets. Gold Fury has been started. It's actually already at half-life. And Shadow Q going to try and find his way in here. The whole team trying to find the way. Mass with a ring toss. Going to try and bounce it around. And there's Xena tracks about that ult. Was on the correct location, but immediately eager. Disengage, take a little bit of poke from the detonate. But... Did Alan in control for a second? And uh, now, actually, Shadow going to find a roar out of position. He's, he's going to shield himself, but look on the right hand side. Benji's Benji. been isolated as well. He has no ultimate. Just one more hit, but there's the Kepri revive. No, they're not going to kill him, though. No, they're, they're not going to kill him. They missed a shot, but now in response, DJ taking a lot of poke. Has to Sanctuary avoids the detonate. Vishim looking for the in hand to find the kill. Immediately over the wall goes DJ to safety with Suku. This is good, but though. But Denial have control of the Gulf here. This is very good for Denial. There's so many members very low. Look at Best. Max range. He might get cut off from Bass, though. Divios he's not careful. As well. They have no idea. They don't know where Bess is in mid. Benji's going to check that one out, and the turret down will keep that busy. Devios being focused now by Denial. They're well aware that Devios could be an issue for them if he comes in with that ultimate. Zatman trying to do the balls at the moment, and Benji going to zone him away. This could be a free goal, Fury. Looks like it will be in favor of Denial. Eager, I'm pretty sure, surrendered that for the most part. Uh, the best finally had to back. He had his ultimate. Benji, by himself, though, four members surrounded. He's going to be plucked out of position. No Capriot available. He's going to jump away, but get knocked up once again and slow down. There's the it doesn't matter. He's still going to get out. Even if he dies here, it still works out well for Denial. They got the Gold Fury, what they came for. Nobody really died in that engagement. Again, it's the, still 5-3. Oh. to three. No, Eager. They want to fight. They're actually going to force a Tier 2. Uh, Benji has to back here. No and teleport. Denial isn't either. in position right now under this tower. This should be a free tower. The only question is, is Denial going to force a fight? Well, they're looking for the Tier 2. Tier 2 is still standing. And immediately, Mass goes in with the ultimate. Tries to pick one up in the sky. Finds some damage. But immediately immune down by Zatman with Disapparate once more. Now they turn their attention to Devios who's going to try and create a distraction with the torrent around to the right hand side. Devios may fall on that right, but it's allowing his team to get out. And DJ Pernicus split pushes a tier two this entire time. This intelligence from Eager is unmatched right now in the SPL apart from maybe enemy. And once again, Zatman gets taken to the sky, but he's entirely saved by Divios, who silences out any member that could potentially follow up off of masked alts. And they're going to back out for free. They got a tier two on right. They almost finished off the tier two in mid and not a single kill happened on either side. But Denial have to try and respond somehow. They could have looked for a tier one in mid lane potentially there instead. They're around the fire giant pit, but they're not going to be able to do it. Let's go to the graphs because game low on kills, but the graphs in this should tell the, the story of how the golden experience this is. This is not like anyone's game at this point, right? This is just uh, Denial kind of getting the better of everything, but Eager, their intelligence, like, I, it's unmatched right now, right? I said I said maybe enemy, but enemy never does anything like this. It's always a chess match for them in the past couple weeks where they just know how deep they can go to force players to rotate. They bait them, they back off, they get a tower. And honestly, Denial should have a much bigger lead than they do. Coming into the, this split as well, Eager, we mentioned at the start of the season, a lot of people did. Eager's got a lot of voices on that team. Yes. And that could be a hindrance to them. But maybe it's not. Maybe it's helpful for having the practice working together. Eventually, you'll come to a common understanding of what's right and what's wrong in the game and be able to perform chess matches like this to an extent. And this is more like 
I, I feel like these weird strategies are, are less Satman and, and, and more the old cognitive gaming core uh, like of the best DJ in a roar. And I think, you know, Zatman adapting that into a style has been phenomenal. I think Zatman's adapted, but Devios is part of that cognitality. Yes, Devios is that sort of player as well. So this lineup of Ego, well, they've made it work and it's working so well that they're in second. And, well, they're looking good at the moment for being down on kills. And uh, left-hand side, Tier 2 is picked up by Apollo. That's the one thing that's been the hindrance to Eager is this Apollo split push. He's been able to find most uh, most of the towers in the game. A Raw did go in, use his ultimate there, but didn't really find anything. Benji loses half his health for the time being. He's does fine. have teleport to get back in. Meatball comes out. And one thing we've not mentioned about Osiris, knockups and knockbacks very, very good against Osiris. And that's why Vulcan is a great pick against him. We've not seen it too much, but he's very useful at keeping um, Osiris at bay. Yeah, and uh, we've seen that multiple times. Benji, 0 2 and 0. Oh, and DJ Perticus going to find Shadow Q, who's forced to purify. And he picked that up because he's worried about exactly what we just saw. Yeah, and it was wise to do so. It keeps him alive for now. Tier 2 tower does finish in the mid lane finally. So that was a tier 2 in right, tier 2 in the middle after Yiga's aggression after that golf here. We go in the way of denial. Surging forward actually is denial. Looks like they're trying to force something. Benji went back to base, but he has the teleport, and he actually teleports to the right-hand side. Aurora has no idea he's here, oh. but it's Divios into the back line. He's going to be throwing out some autos, but he's caught by himself. That's a lot of damage, and he can't oh. even get his ultimate off. Meanwhile, the rest of the team was busy trying to pick up Shadow Q, and now Shadow Q still alive, still has his ultimate, not even worried. Benji forced back from Zatman again. Vishim in the sky, coming in onto the best best with a meatball, going to force the Sanctuary of Vishim, but Vishim not done yet. He wants to keep going. Tier 1 tower still up, though. There's the turret as well. Stellar Burst going to put a little bit of poke in. Mast can't find uh, that ring toss, but so, it doesn't look like Denial are going to be able to force anything. Small miscommunication there from Eager because you saw Shadow Q swinging around the side yes. and they focused him at the same time as Devious goes in to help out Aurora, who was being aggressed on for a second there, and that ended up hurting them. I, I don't think Devious realized how much damage he was going to take there, uh, especially because uh, I think it was Xenotronics doing most of that there. He doesn't have a single bit of magical protection outside of the mantle of Discord, and he actually doesn't have a ton of health in this build. He's got a little bit, but it's not a lot. I want to say that was the first kill in like 17 minutes, right? It's been a while. It was 5 3 for quite some yeah, time. 5 3 for quite a while. I want to say about 10 15 minutes easily. Fire Jan, though, started by Denial, though. They feel they've got an opportunity to do the Shadow Q. Gonna meet Zatman over here, and Zatman trying to buy himself some time, keep the team at bay, and now DJ's here as well. But the all's going down from Xena Tricks. The burst is good. Denial, Clean. get the Fire Giant, and now they have the power play. They, they really like to force their advantage here. Divios does have teleport, and he does come into this one. Benji by himself. He's actually absorbing a lot of cooldowns, and he's actually going to find a root on it, too, as well. Still caught. Eager putting so much focus into the Osiris. They could get turned on, and Mask takes one to the sky. Big ult from Mask. He's going to really put an awkward position onto the best, and he will fall to Vishim. So beautiful. Mask now going to be able to get away from the dangers. The axe comes out from Divios. And immediately, Denial, well aware of the situation. They'll back away, keep all five members alive with the Fire Giant buff. There's just simply too much protection on this Osiris as well as his passive providing him 16% damage flat damage reduction which is massive and Eager invests so many cooldowns into trying to finish him off however it's just not enough. Mass is just having a great game so far he's got seven assists well, yes. even though seven all seven have been very very clinical all eight kills involving him so far right from the outset he set Xenotrix to be this big guy in the mid lane that you can't see that Eager can get to. Every single time they've gone for it, Xeno's been safe because Mast has been there to help. And Mast right now has is the only person with 100% kill participation in this match right now. He set up so many things, and the only times like the kills haven't gone through is when Divios does a great job of kind of zoning out the follow-up. Now, Fire Giant in tow, though. Denial looking to force this mid-tier 2 tower. Or the up, mid Phoenix. Very safe at the moment. They were waiting for Mast to come in, but now the ult comes out from Divios, forcing him back once more. Vishim now has an opportunity to get some damage on with that Titan's Bane to the Phoenix, and it will fall. Vishim was so patient then he could have just gone in for a couple of hours but he waited for his team to finally force it then create the opportunity gold fury here has spawned in nile they're going to take uh, that phoenix that tower as well and the gold fury can we take a look at golden hand right now uh let's see what they're at so a couple players above 2000 this is going to add about uh, 350 gold to each and of which, these players you go with Vishim? he's got the most gold on his team now and after this gold fury he'll have a little bit more in the coffers but where does he head? He's he's changed out Iqbal for Odibo already. He's still kept the Rage and the Titan's Bane. Do you switch boots, maybe? I mean, you could go either 3k pot, um, or the boots for There's the Ninja Tabby, pot, yeah, or the Rage about. Blade for a Malice. I All our DPS, D, you know, theoretic DP, uh, DPS increases. What's he going to choose? Is he going to choose anything? It's going to be... 3k defensive, defensive pot. pot. So, Interesting. okay, so 50 all protections. You don't see this too often uh, outside of supports, but he just wants to make sure that he can get as many autos off as he can 
in team fights. I mean, mathematically, I guess it could. I, I want to say mathematically, you should work out. You should go for power pipe. You've built damage. However, defensive with the amount of life steal he's going to have from Devil's Gauntlet may work out okay because he's going to survive a little bit longer. He also has fifty protect. He also has fifty physical protections onto Mez, and you can see right now I think he has about sixty six physical protection, which means he'll be. He'll be, like, as tanky as a, a warrior when it comes to physical once that potion has popped. Well, let's see how it works out for him. He's going to go in now with Shadow Q tank in that tier 2 tower to bring that one down one more time. They're looking for the right-hand Phoenix. Now Devios defending the fire minions in mid, but needs to get back to this right-hand side. Is he going to go for a flank is the question. There's a ward down in the jungle, so they'll see Devios coming. And will Denial and Eager go at it? Benji's dead. He's caught alone. Ooh. Oh, there's the revive. No, it was a meditation and a revive coming out. So they used two things, a relic and ultimate. And Aurora may want to try and force this, but no. The call from Eager was, nope, just give it up. Let it go. We got a, a small win. Let's wait for the fire giant to wear off. And uh, the teams are going to back away for it now. Denial still with the with the lead. Eight, uh, eight to three in kills. Also about a 7,000 gold lead after this game was very close for most of the match. 10,000 experience lead as well, but I think uh, everyone level 20 right now outside of Aurora, so nothing to speak of too much. And if one team gets a, a whole, a, an actual clean deer side here, even if it's not clean, like the only two or three members survive, this game's done. The respawn timers are going through the roof right now. The amount of damage both these teams have as well. I mean, we look at the two mid laners, look at the builds. We've nearly got Soul Reaver finished on best as well. And so Zeus and the best will both destroy people in seconds, especially those front liners. Uh, and I mean, we've seen it already kind of, right? Where he's done like 80% of mask life with his ultimate. And that's not even at max range. And a lot of uh, mass staying alive has been because of that Blink. wing play. Ultimate, beautiful play from mass he's going to just isolate one shield is going to be available immediately by a robot it's already down and the best is in trouble still benji and visham come crashing in mainly because benji got forced in there by dj pernicus but the best will get away to live again and somehow eager hold once again uh, Vishium just barely off the mark of finishing the best. If he had aimed his ult a little bit higher, would have been able to finish off that kill. But best walks away for free as DJ Perdicus burns <laughs> Gravity Surge to you keep someone at You say for free. He used both relics. They got the Aurora Almost shield free. as well from Aurora, as well as Aurora's ultimate to survive as well. As well as DJ Pernicus's kind ultimate. Kind of for free. As well as Devios's ultimate. Okay, not for free. Exactly. It cost him a lot. <laughs> but luckily enough, the Fire Giant's not alive yet. So they've got a few more seconds to buy and get themselves back. Again. It's uh, going to be spawning here now, though. Denial, they're not the ones with the control of the pit. It is Eager who have the ward coverage, and they're going to throw in deep in Denial's uh, but jungle as well. But to be fair, Denial as well, they're going to have the power play a little bit with those ultimates being down. Divas is available again, though, and they're actually looking for the pick That's a lot. onto Benji, and Benji's doing a very good job of baiting this game over and over again, and ended up not getting picked up. He's only died twice, but to be fair, being only two deaths on the team, it's not bad at 14 minutes in. I'm okay with that. And, and Eager, they're uh, going to pressure out this mid lane. No more fire minions to worry about here, so they're going to have the safety of that. Uh, unless someone wants to split push. I don't think that's going to be happening, though. And uh, now, they're actually going to be starting oh. up the Fire Giant. This is the first time Eager forced something early without taking an engagement. First, Devios goes to the back line deep with that torrent. Visham immediately messes him out and going to put some poke pressure on Perdicus with him. Look at this. But look at the fight. The Fire Giant pit now is still going on. And Mast has got an ultimate for Eager get the Fire Giant, but Mast takes out the best. And now, a lot of members of Eager are isolated. Divios in the back line trying to zone, the but crits. he's getting turned on. DJ Pernicus getting chased out by Mast. No ultimate for him, but DJ should be able to get out unless Vishyam takes to the sky no, and finishes right. him off. He's going right looking for Zatman who's trying to live but he will get dunked on and evaporate. Aurora shields himself, rolls out, knocked up to stop the rollout and this should be a dead Aurora as well. Kills are starting to fly in now and I'll tell you what, there's not going to be, there's going to be two members to defend this base against the whole team of Denial. This is not going to be good. Eager get the fire giant but it's only on two members as the squad basically gets wiped. Xenotronics and Mass the first one up here. The team's going to focus on this mid Phoenix which has been weakened it looks like and uh, Divius, he's going to have to do a lot here if he wants to hold. No ultimate available for him. DJ does have his up, and DJ just looking at mid Phoenix, knowing that he can't defend this. It was already weakened anyway. Are they gonna end? But look at this, they're going to go in for the end here against them. The pull does not come out from DJ because it was beads away from Master. Now they're looking to end it. Now could take this first game off Eager. They have the damage to do so, and they will take game one. Denial, defeat Eager in game one. That was just. Really well played from both squads, honestly.
but Mast at the end of that game specifically uh, blinks over the wall in that mid lane, finds the best. Uh, while he didn't die, yeah. like you said, so many ultimates and relics burned, and immediately after that, it's Fire Giant forced. No relics up for the best, and Masks finds him once again, well, takes was, him to the sky. It was eager to force that Fire Giant. That was yes. the key. They forced it, but then they got split on whether we want to do the Fire Giant or we want to try and peel and fight this team fight. I think the call was peel and just like keep them at bay was what Devios was looking to do. But there was a flank around the side for Mast and Shadow Q, which worked out very well for them. Game two, what do you want to see different? Um, Honestly, I think both teams actually, like, I think both teams played really well. I think I you agree. just got to execute a little bit better if you're eager. I'd love some more kills, but first of all...